Hello, I'm Frederick Mellon, aka Mr. Mal. Today I'm gonna go over the new licensing manager for the VBAR and guide you through how to register your VBAR as your property and then how you request a firmware for this VBAR. So, first thing you need to do is to go to uh, mikado heli.de. And even if you are from the USA, do not press the USA flag because you need to go into the European shop and register an, an account there. So, we go to Europe and then we click on the to login register link here. I have a username and password, but you need to go to register and you need to fill this information in. Uh, at the end here, you actually select your own username and password. Remember, this username is case sensitive, so make sure you enter and uh, most of all, remember what you enter in terms of lower and upper case um, information. When this is done, we actually jump over to vstavi.info and use this login information that we uh, got. I'm going to log out here. And you enter this information here. And now we go in and uh, on this site. As you see, everything is in German. How am going to find my way when I cannot read it? Well, on the left here, select English, and you will be on the English side. So you have login on English, and everything is English. If you have problems with the language jumping between German and English, there is a fix for that one. Um, go into my account, and in here, edit, and then um, English and they it will then remember it forever and choose that as a missing English. And when we're logged in, now we need to register our V bars. If it's the first time you actually do this, you should go in and make sure every V bar you have is registered. Um, I, I forgot one thing. When you actually register the account at mikadohelly.de, use the same email address that you have used in purchases previously on your VBARs. That's the simplest way because then uh, some devices are pre-registered. But if you will look at my devices here, I have no devices. So what I need to do is I need to go to VBAR registration. So what I need to do then is actually to enter my serial number uh, in this box. The serial number you find in when you either if you have a log file, but if you have the VBAR connector and powered in the lower hand side of the VBAR program, you can see the serial number of your unit. So I'm going to enter a serial number here, which I'm going to register and I submit that. And it asks to register this device, yes. And what it does, it ties the device to your um, um, email address. So when I go in to look at my devices, I now have a device attached to this account. I can request service. I can request a license. I'm coming back to that one. I can transfer this to another user. If you sell your VBOR, you can transfer to another user, another email. But also I can, this is new, I can actually add service uh, option to extract the log from uh, Express version in case of debugging. Uh, there is a video that I'm going to release soon uh, how to extract that and how to use that. Um, but there is some new options here which has not been before, so you get a little bit benefit here. Uh, device and license management, it's the same screen. I'm just going to show you that, that uh, these instructions here are the same what they're going through on this video. So I go back to my um, devices and then I request a license. Now an email will be sent to me with a link. So I request. A license key and so anyway I got an email here from Mikado's license 
service i'm gonna see if i can get that and with what this means i get the link i'm gonna click the link and let's see here it loads this key and everything is now enabled so you can download your firmware for your vbar so open the vbar program connect the device power the vbar and then go to online update and you will be allowed to download the license or the firmware this is a new routine which i have shown you here uh, these are the steps that is needed next time you need to re-download or there is an update you actually just go in and request that license you get a mail you click the link and you then download so that that's the whole episode of this while we're at it let's check the other uh, options we have here we actually have uh, request service you actually can go there or you can uh, go to my devices and then request service here what happens then is you have to enter all this information and it creates a service case for uh, the service department that works with this VBAR. So they can look at your information when you send it into this address. Uh, of course, if you are in the USA, you are uh, going via Red Hill instead, and you should contact Red Hill for return an RMA from them. But if you are sending direct, if you are in the rest of the world, you're shipping to Mikado service uh, in Germany, and then you use this form, fill it out as complete as possible because it helps. And what happens is if you if they need more information, you actually have a mailbox here regarding that device, so you can get information from uh, their service department via that one. And again, I have my devices, so if I need to send, an, uh, if I'm selling this unit, I can send this to another user. So I can send this back to info at migado.la.de, which in case this unit I borrowed from them. So I can send that back to them. And that is uh, a complete circle. I have no uh, licenses left on my account then.